click the link in the description to download your own copy of this video's problem. Hey guys, Russ here. Welcome back to another fantastic chemistry video. And today we're going to talk about this problem right here. Let's get after it. Draw the conjugate base for the following acid. If the conjugate base has resonance forms, draw them as well. Okay, very, very simple question. It's really not that hard. It looks hard, but it's really not. So we have water and an acid. So there's going to be hydronium for sure. Now, I can just tell you that is your most acidic proton. Generally speaking, protons on oxygen are the more, more acidic than any other protons in your molecule. Of course, that's a generalization. Be very careful with that. And it's going to give you this conjugate base right here. There you go. Resonance forms. This one's going to have quite a few. Keep going. Don't stop. I know it feels good to draw one and stop, but you want to get to the right answer. You won't do that. Now, here's an interesting one where the lone pair actually goes out to the nitrogen. Now, we've seen it go around the ring, or you've probably seen it in your classes. Here's an example where it goes to the nitrogen. It's going outside of the ring because nitro is known to be an electron withdrawing group from a, from a benzene ring. So it's pulling electron density out. Think about that in terms of stability of this conjugate base. It must be fairly stable because it's moving the electron density onto another oxygen, which is, of course, a stabilizing effect. There we go. Now, electrons are going to come back into the ring. But now instead of drawing the electrons back to here, I skipped a step. I skipped over this uh, resonance form because we've already drawn it. And I've drawn this pi bond forming, this pi bond moving into the ring, and these pi electrons moving to here, to this carbon right here. I know it seems like I skipped a step, but I really didn't. I just didn't want to redraw this uh, resonance form twice. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. And finally, I'll just draw it up here because I'm running out of room. Yep, this takes a little bit of work, a little bit of effort, but it's good practice on how to draw resonance forms. And resonance forms with benzene in it are a favorite of organic chemistry professors to see if you really understand how resonance works. And there you go. So there are the, there's the conjugate base and all of its resonance forms. Now, you could draw the hybrid structure after this if you wanted to, it's not a problem. But I'm gonna stop here because A, I'm out of room and B, the question didn't ask. And C, I think you guys are getting a little bit overwhelmed with this question because it is a little complicated. Now, my advice, cover up my answer, do it again yourself, command it yourself. That way, on an organic chemistry exam, you'll be flying. You'll be 100% okay. Now, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, slap that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what I'm doing right. Tell me the questions that you might have about organic chemistry maybe I can help you with. And with that, guys, I really want you to know I appreciate you being here. I appreciate all my subscribers. And if you haven't already subscribed to this YouTube channel, please go ahead, consider subscribing and joining the Dr. Betts team and get through this organic chemistry program together. All right, guys, now with that, I want to wish you all good luck and good chemistry. We'll see you soon. Email drbets at protonmail.com if you would like a copy of every problem in this series.